This is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. I discovered this application and it's quite useful. Have you ever tried to clean your keyboard on your Mac? And when you go to clean it, all the buttons get pressed and things are happening. And even if you go to lock your screen and try to clean it that way, the password prompt is filling up with characters. You have to go back and eventually backspace and delete. Or if your computer's sleeping and you're trying to clean the keyboard, it wakes the computer while you're trying to do it. This is a really useful application that will stop that from happening. It's called Keyboard Clean Tool, and the website it's available on is foleyvora.ai, and it's totally free to use. And the developer says here, Keyboard Clean Tool is a super simple little tool which blocks all keyboard and touch bar input. Years ago, Apple rejected the app for the Mac App Store because apparently it's not useful. However, I often use it to clean my Mac keyboard without producing annoying input. I've also heard of people who use it to let their toddlers pretend they work on a computer and also people with cats. So I'm gonna show you here how easy it is to use. I'm gonna click the free download button. And for this example, I dragged it already out of my downloads folder and I put it on my desktop. So I am going to double click the file. It's gonna put the, the application here. I'm gonna drag it into my applications folder and drop it. I'm gonna run it by double clicking. I'm gonna click open. And here's the tool right here. And you can see it's just very simple. Click to start cleaning mode, lock the keyboard. That accessibility is required, so you will have to set that up in system preferences. So under system preferences, we're gonna to go to privacy and security. Then we're gonna to go to accessibility. And I really wish Apple would put these in alphabetical order. It'd make it so much easier. So we're gonna to go to accessibility. And from here, you can see keyboard clean tool. We're gonna to toggle this to on. It's going to ask for your password. I'm going to use my Touch ID to do my password. I'm going to close System Preferences. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click the button. And my keyboard is totally locked. And when I'm done, I click it again. And as you can hear here, now my keyboard is working again. It's a simple free utility that you can use just to lock your keyboard if you ever have the need to do so. Once again, this is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. You can leave a comment below, or you can also reach out to me on my website at beyourownnerd.com. I also have a free weekly tech newsletter that I send out every Tuesday. You can sign up for that there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and have yourself a great tech day.